on heading back to the old world for a bit. The field team leader said he wanted to come with me too. But with the way things are going now, it's going to be a while before we head back. Huh? Why can't I go back soon? <laughs> Did no one clue you in yet? Got to lock it all. Just remember, I was supposed to clue you in. But the field team leader wanted me to find you. He said he needed you. Come on, let's go and see what he wants. Everyone here? Good. Let's get started. We have two things on the agenda today. First, an Alatreon has been spotted again in the secluded valley. Again? It's back already? How? To be honest, the scouts also had their doubts. If we don't get rid of that thing quickly, it's going to cut a huge swath of destruction across the new world. You already have a special assignment prepped. Once you're ready to go, depart for the secluded valley. What's going on? Why does this keep happening? First, we had that red dragon show up. And then an the new world and our hometowns are just part of a bigger ecosystem. Let's hope nothing on this scale is happening over there. Yeah, this is all very worried. So what's the other thing you had to discuss? Ah, right. My grandfather had to return to the old world for a bit. Huh? Why? What happened? No idea. I just heard he was summoned by the guild to return immediately. That's... some kind of timing. I understand that you're all worried. The only thing we can do until he returns is to get rid of that Alatreon. Understood? Yes, yes, sir. A few inches later... Something like that showed up in the old world. Chief, I think we should warn the guild about the growing number of incidents when we send off our next report. The guild collects intel on monster behavior in each region, but they also gather disaster reports. We can send them what we have so they can prepare for a worst case scenario. You've got a point. Make the necessary preparation. Understood. Oh, before I forget, seems like the commander has returned to Astera. Really? He's back all right. I got an idea. How about when you report in on the Alatreon investigation? You pester him until he spills the beans on why the guild summoned him. Good idea, huh? <laughs> Do we really need to get in his business? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll give you the papers. Speak to the commander when you're ready. Greetings, Hunter. I just looked over the report on the Alatreon investigation. Sending this off to the guild immediately. As always, splendid work. Hmm. I see. I suppose it does make sense that the guild summons me would cause gossip to spread. This is probably as good a time as any to let you know what's happening. Truth is, large-scale joint operation between various countries and organizations has been in the works for some time. The research commission has been requested to join the operation. They believe our expertise with unidentified life and ecologies and our outstanding record in the field will be an asset. Let's prove them right. Now then, we have a guest here in Astera that will detail the operation. Representatives from each unit will be in attendance. Of course, we'll need you there, too. Come. Is everyone here? Good. Then let us begin council. As I told everyone, an international joint operation is currently in the works. The Research Commission has been requested to join the operation. Thank you, Commander. I'm in charge of this joint operation, and I hope to get to know each of you soon. Hmm? You? You're with the Commission. General, it's an honor to see you again. <laughs> Never expected to see a familiar face in the new world. <clears throat> My apologies. We'll have to make some time to talk later. Now, let several rare phenomena have occurred in various parts of the world, and we've also received reports from our special disaster unit. Small intermittent quakes, 
Forest fires breaking out so frequently that there is enough smoke to blot out the sun. Endemic life and monsters alike are disappearing, and even the elder dragons are becoming more scarce. However, we located in our records one past occasion when all these current events did happen. Just one. Let me ask, have any of you heard of Shrade before? Yes, the glorious country of Shrade. I remember reading it was a powerful nation that suddenly disappeared ages ago. No one knows what happened to it. And the region of Shrade is off limits to everyone, from what I've heard. You're well read, I see. Then you must know of the legends they speak of Shrade. Yes, the story of Shrade's demise. An incredible monster burned the country down to the ground in a single night. But why are you bringing this up now? Records of Shrade are scant. But they do exist in various forms, such as diplomatic documents or personal diaries. Around the time when trade was destroyed, we discovered several passages from one article. Earthquakes, forests burning, birds and monsters gone, no sun, elder dragons disappearing. Then several months later, trade disappeared. <laughs> no way, that, that can't be right. I understand that catastrophic elder dragons have appeared in the new world. It was no coincidence. This is inevitable. Everything is happening again. And it heralds the return of the one that obliterated trade. The black dragon Fatalis. A nightmare that lives only in legend. The guild and every country have declared that Fatalis will appear in Castle Shrade again. And have called for its extermination. Our assignment will be to prepare for its eventual appearance, and slay the beast. When is it expected to show up in Castle Shrade? We cannot say for certain. But if we take the records we found at face value, we have a few months before it shows up. Do we know its current location? No. We have no information on that. Nothing to tell us where it's coming from, or where it's going. Information is so scarce that it's more accurate to call this the Fatalis event. Is it even possible to take it down? If we don't, everything will perish. What we can do now is alert every participating nation and prepare ourselves. Research Commission will need to mobilize quickly. The General and I will depart first, ahead of our main force. We'll do our best to get a grasp of the situation. We'd like to request that you hunters accompany us. Yes, sir. Later, we'll gather the entire commission and explain what's going on. For now, we want you to get yourselves ready. I shall guide us to Castle Shrade. This will be a long struggle, but I know we'll make it through this. All right. That brings council to an end. Dismissed. We'd be going back home, especially like this. Uh, so nervous? Believe you me, I get it. <laughs> but my new friend and I will give you all the support you could ask for. Nothing's gonna happen to you while I'm around. <laughs> okay, we know you're on. But I wanna know what you think. Yeah, me too. the layout of Castle Shrade. Weapons from its last stand are still on site. The cannons are here. Here, the ballast day. 
Hopefully we can find workable binders to use. You can see railing here. That means there may be a roaming ballista. And finally, a Dragonator. It'll be our ace in the hole. The mechanism is dated, so we'll need to manually fire the weapon. Finally, we have a barricade here. That barricade will need to be triggered manually as well. This is where the lever is. We'll need it in case of emergency. That's all. Carve this information into your brain. Yes, sir. Fatalis, Castle Shrade? This still feels like a dream. I know it's cliche, but it's like we're in one of those bedtime stories our parents told us. I know what you mean. The legend of Fatalis has been passed down from generation to generation to generation. Many believed that the story of Fatalis and Castle Shrade was just a fable created after the fact. I never thought those legends would turn out to be true. The word Fatalis was never meant as a moniker for an actual beast. No, it was a word to describe an existence of some kind. But over time, it seems to become known as the name of the monster. So what we're up against isn't a monster. It's actually history. We're arriving soon. Steal yourselves. like somehow the past and the present meet up right at this point however that wasn't in the blueprints it's blocking the dragonator we can't reach the ballista or barricade either. Was it just slapped together? They fought back Fatalis and then propped it up? I see. So that means in the end, they didn't have time to use their Dragonator. They realized all was lost and abandoned the offensive. No. most likely used it. They knew the stakes. They battled hard. Defended their home. But were ultimately outmatched. They fought until the bitter end. If they just gave up, absolutely nothing would have remained once Fatalis was finished. It was not my place to judge them. So then, what should we do? With that in the way, we can't use the Dragonator. Let's tear it down. <laughs> Bring people in now. Our forces? I heard they're arriving shortly, sir. Good. They're quick. Once we rendezvous with them, we should have enough manpower. Don't forget about us. Since we brought the wing drapes, we decided to establish a camp up there. We'll need to update the maps, too. What's wrong?
Main force is arriving soon, right? Correct. Your odds? In my favor, as always. We'll buy everyone some time to escape. No! This is madness! Retreat now! We can't have any missteps. Go get it done, then. Yes, sir. To the camp! Hurry! Underestimating those two hunters was your biggest misstep. Believe me, I know all too well. Recovered from your battle with Fatalis? Hmm. <laughs> you have the grit of a true hunter. We have a visitor. Just arrived. Come with me. It's been a while since we've done this. Is everyone in good health? How are you feeling, kid? Couldn't be better. I'm happy that you're in high spirits. I'm actually surprised you made another trip to the New World. He wanted to observe how the Commission works. As such, he'll only be here for a short period. Yes. I found your Slinger technology fascinating. The work put into developing it is amazing, to say the least. I have high praise for the Commission's flexible hierarchy, too. It allowed you to adapt on the fly to any situation. If we didn't have you as the foundation of this joint operation, Slaying Fatalis might have been a fool's errand. You have shown me not only how excellent your hunting prowess is, but how well you support each other. Once again, I must commend you all on a job well done. Thank you, sir. By the way, Aiden, I believe tales of your efforts have reached someone you know. He heard about how you were wounded when you protected your teammate. He was quite a mess after he heard about that. His face turned red with anger, as if you were in front of him. You have a good master. Uh, really? It's good to hear that he hasn't changed. Sir, if you cross paths with my master Julius again, could you relay a message for me? Tell him I kept my promise. 
for someone I wanted to meet, so we'll be home soon. And I will return. He can count on that. Understood. <laughs> well then, shall we proceed with the observation? I'd like to take on a quest, actually, if that's fine with everyone. What? Um, well, <clears throat> we could start off with a gathering quest. You'll also need a tutorial on how to use the clutch cloth. <laughs> I'm at your disposal. Well then, I'll leave you to tend to our guest. Show him everything the new world has to offer. Yes, yes sir. sir. Once again, thank you for a job well done. After you slayed Vitalis, so much paperwork to fill out, everyone returned home, but no one has been able to catch their breath. You know, I never asked, but where are you from, anyway? Now, nah, never mind. I was curious, but it's none of my business. You coming to the new world is more than I could have ever asked for. Also, the general asked me to present this to you. I do wonder how you've kept your nerves when Fatalis made its early entrance. Even I thought we were gonna die out Buddy, glad to see you again. Man, what a hunt, huh? You know, back home I was asked to take care of some pretty unique missions. And I told myself that the success of the mission was the only thing that mattered. But that was my bad. My master put me in line and told me it was safety first, mission second. When we were heading back to the New World, he told me I was out cold and feverish. But the words of the field team leader and my master never left my head. Stand and fight. It was really our words to live by. I bet everyone who lived in Castle Shrade thought the same thing. I can't wait to spill all the details on what happened. Huh? To who? Well, first, I guess the field team leader. And then when I return home, there's someone else that ought to know. Ah, gosh, Rocket. I totally forgot to apply for my vacation time. Man, what am I gonna do? Time off. Ah, well. I just need to fight a bit more. <laughs> but anyway, here, take this. It's a good luck charm until I return. You're gonna need it, seeing as you always fall off things.